but that's just a dead end. Oh, we could try up so, north. This is where the eternal conflict raged since the beginning of time. When we already went through that thing. I mean to uh, how about over here? Oh, no, that's a dead end. Um, only places down over here, it looks like, or this spot. What the heck is that thing? I don't even know. Is it over here? Of course not. Oh, a little fast critters, aren't you? Looking for the last rune, have no clue where it is. Has to be down here. I checked everywhere else. That was easy. Of course it gives me nothing. Fine. I don't want to be like that. Hey, how'd you survive? Could it be? Check down here. Ah, it seems like we're on the right track. Now, how do we get there? Do we just have to go all the way around? It seems kind of troublesome. Not yet. Good to go. Let's rush back now. We got we got the runes. Oh wait, we gotta kill the one guy. Get the side quest. Oh, 
Where is he? Is he around here? There you are. There we go. Just finish off the side quest while we're here. No point of just leaving it, right? Taking a nice stroll around the battlefield. Patience. All right, here we go. Here we go. You cannot stop me. And another legendary plan. Bitterness, is that what it said? Uh, yep. Put that there. Nope, that's not helping me. That's not helping me. And this is definitely not helping me. Alright. What do we have? Hammer. The hammer seeks out nearby targets and deals 200 weapon damage. No, thank you. Provoke. For 4 seconds after casting provoke, any damage you deal will also deal 50% weapon damage as lightning. No thank you. And over here, Empower the Law also grants a 5% chance to cause nearby enemies to drop health globes. Oh nah. And this one is, you can no longer dodge but your block chances increase by 15%. Well, if, depending on what skills you're using, that could be valuable. All right, Tiro, let's do this. I bear grave news, my friend. The sliver has revealed Malveil's plan to me, and it is worse than I could have imagined. He means to use the Black Soul Stone to capture all demonic essences, even those that linger in human hearts. If the stone is altered to rip the demonic essence out of every man, woman, and child on Sanctuary, they will all die. No, we can still stop him, and we begin by attacking the fortress. Now Vale is fundamentally altering the Black Soul Stone. It will now pull in all the demonic essence from whatever plane of existence it finds itself in. But mankind is born of angel and demon alike. Every mortal, save myself, has demonic essence as an intrinsic part of their being. A big ass ram. Whoa! Is it really safe to be on this thing while it's ramming the wall? I mean, you know, if, uh, if, if, if this suddenly goes and hits the wall, then we, we would certainly keep on going because objects that are in motion tend to want to stay in motion or some shit like that. Until the equal and opposite force causes it to stop. Sure, that makes sense. Oh, there we go. 
All right, let me rephrase that. Every object that's in motion wants to stay in motion. Oh, I don't know, I quit. I'm too tired to think. Pandemonium Fortress. When I fought Mount Vale, my sword passed through him like air. He is in a state of death and life, impervious to physical harm. Your strength is not enough. To defeat him, you must channel the power of death as he does. There are many spirits below. Perhaps they can help. The power of the dead. If you could become one with it, you would be as Malveo is, and you could face him. But you must find a way quickly. Every moment, thousands die, and Malveo's power grows beyond it. A crusade comes to us. That spirit, it's so familiar. Master, Master. Master, is that you? I saw you die all those years ago. I have watched you, Crusader. You have done more than any other. And honored the name we both bear. Master, I have tried only to live as you taught me. And you have. But the work of the Crusade waits for you. I must find a way to defeat Malthael, or even the Crusade will fail. I have only enough strength to open a path for you, for we are bound by Malthael's magic. Our prison is deep within the fortress. Free us. And the spirit of every crusader who has ever died will lend you strength. Thank you, Spoon. That's exactly what I was talking about. Newton's law. Every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in a state of motion unless external forces apply to it. So difficult to remember high school physics. And sarcasm. Man. The Black Soul Stone journeys through the portal to Sanctuary. Even now it spreads death across your world. And so ends the eternal conflict. Okay. Portals. Once again, we're going through portals. I could think with portals. I had enough training. Uh, which way? Oh, there's a little portal over here.
we had the right way? I hope so. Beastmaster. Okay, cool. The Anarchs were among Malkiel's most trusted advisors, and his fall to darkness affected them deeply. Gone were their radiant wings and tall mouths to come. Now they were only malice and cruelty, and the insatiable desire to destroy all living things. Level two. Well, what do we have down here? A mace, yay. One-handed mace. Oh. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Two-handed garbage, get out of here. And then that means I could change this to... You can no longer dodge, but your block chances increase by 15. Hmm. I think I'll go back to that. Or should I use this? There, we'll do that. We will do that. You saw me die. You took up my shield and my name. The life and death of every crusader to bear your name resides in you. Death is a part of who you are. Take its power. I will for now, but I will not become death incarnate. When the deed is done, we will release the power. Our work ends. The crusade rests with you now. This place looks crazy. What the? Oh, it's just uh, clipping on different objects. Okay, that was weird. Patience. 
What the hell? Alright, take these guys out. They were just standing there. Uh, Oh, you got frozen by the little door. The energy beam. And then I got frozen. Okay, cool. This just goes around in a circle. Fantastic. We just do one huge loop. It means I went the wrong way. Get over here! After I clear out this area, I gotta take a look at the map. Uh, let's see, where am I? Okay. So I guess we'll go over here and check, uh, try to go there. Uh Don't zap me, bro. Don't zap me. Patience. And I walk right into that one. Alright, well that was completely wrong then. So I must have to go over here. Why am I going over here then? I don't know. Gotta go this way. Uh, go down. Should be right over here to our left. Alright, this should be the right direction. Okay, there's some um, million portals now. Oh, I haven't noticed you.
Fortress 3. Is the pandemonium the same thing from uh, Lord of Destruction? I can't remember uh, if that area was a pandemonium. Your death comes. You'll see the end. Okay then, is he gonna transform into his final form? This isn't even my final form! Burn! Got him. Give me that legendary. Where is the Black Soul Stone? Malthael destroyed it and used the power within. Then Malthael's death will have released Diablo. He is free. Alright, so I guess uh, this leads on to a future game, most likely. I mean, Diablo. How, how can you call a game Diablo if there's no Diablo, right? So he has to live. He will continue. So click OK to end the game and return to the main menu. Okay. So I guess that was that. That was a fantastic ride all the way from Act 1 through 5. The Nephilim have done the impossible. By conquering death, she had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. She is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a crusader who protects the innocent. But within her beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. On that day, will she have the strength to resist? Or will she be our doom? Congratulations, you've defeated Diablo 3. More challenges and rewards await you await you in adventure mode. Well then, that's that. We 
finished off Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed the fifth act. It was it was fun. I mean, eh, eh, eh. No, it was good. It was good. The final boss was a little easier than I thought it would be, but then again, I do have the Paragon at level 60, so if you have any sort of Paragon then, and you're playing on normal, then you're going to find it easier than what it should be. Maybe I should have bumped the difficulty up a little bit, but you know what? It's all good, and had lots of fun with it, so money well spent? Question mark? I'll probably go ahead and grind this game a little bit just to see what other items I could get and get my Barbarian and Crusader to level 70. I'm not sure if I'm going to record that or not. Most likely not. I'll probably just do it when I have free time here and there with a few of my friends. So that's that. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And of course, until next time, I will see you you guys later. Way hey, Spoon, thanks for uh, sticking around on stream. Thank you very much.